Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor. When it comes to wireless headsets, there is oftentimes a lot of different versions of the same headset. So for example, this Jabra Evolve 275 here will come in a USB-A or USB-C version. On top of that, you can choose between a UC version and a Microsoft Teams version. So the point of this video is to tell you the difference between the USB-A and the USB-C version of wireless headsets. So let's get started right now. All right, so when it comes to wireless headsets, USB-A is the port that you're probably most familiar with. It's a rectangular uh, plug. It goes into your computer and it has to be plugged in in only one direction. You can't put it in upside down, it won't let you. And when it comes to this Jabra Evolve 275 in front of me here, you have two different adapters that are in front of me. The USB-C connection is the new standard, so it can be plugged you know, right side up or upside down, it does not matter which direction you plug it in. It's also uh, significantly fa faster as far as data speeds. It's smaller, more compact, so uh, most of the modern computers laptops uh, are becoming standard with USB-C and you're gonna see that more and more. And in fact, uh, all of the new wireless headsets have USB ports on the headset. So to charge it or to plug it into a computer, it will require that USB-C connection into the headset side at least, and then over to your computer, either via USB-A, which we'll put a picture up on the screen, and USB-C, which we will put a picture up on the screen. And if you wanna identify on your computer which ports you have, this is a picture of a USB, uh, USB-A port on your computer, and this is what a USB-C port looks like on your computer. So when you're deciding which version of wireless headset you should purchase, you need to identify what ports you have on your computer, which space you have. If you have run out of space, you may need to get a hub, which will give you access to either USB-A or USB-C ports, depending upon which one you choose. But once you've identified what port you have, then you would determine which uh, version of this headset you want to get. So a USB-A version will give you this uh, USB-A adapter for your computer, and the USB-C version will give you this adapter for your computer. So that'll plug into your ports. Generally speaking, USB-C is the best ports you can get. It's gonna give you faster transfer speeds. You have power uh, accessibility in addition to data transfer. You uh, can plug it in either way. But when it comes to choosing the adapter for your Jabra Evolve 275, uh, it won't make a performance difference between the Bluetooth connectivity to the headset. It uses the same Bluetooth technology and you'll get the same experience. So it's just a matter uh, between which port you have on your computer. This is also true for all of the different brands, such as Poly, EPOS, Jabra, any Yealink, any brand that uses a USB adapter with the headset will uh, have that option between either USB-A or USB-C. I hope that explained the difference between the two USB types that wireless headsets have to offer. Now there are a lot of different versions of headsets. You have the choice between USB-A, USB-C, then you have UC and Microsoft Teams, which can get confusing. That's what our team here at Headset Advisor does every day. We help customers find the right headset for their unique situation. So give our team a call, uh, send us an email or live chat with us on our website, and we will get you the right recommendation that is best for your situation. If you wanna know what the difference is between Microsoft Teams and the UC version, check out this video we did right up there. The quick answer is if you use 100% Microsoft Teams, you should go with the Microsoft Teams version. If you use a combination of Microsoft Teams along with other platforms like Zoom or RingCentral, then you go with the UC.
So that's a quick answer there, but check out the full video for more details. And if you wanna see the review of the Evolve 275, check out the full in-depth review and microphone test there. That's all I got for you. Thanks a lot for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks a lot.